Hello YouTube friends, it's me Theosha. Today I am going to make my own buttercream icing from scratch. I learned this recipe when I took a class at the Decorator's Grocery, and um, which is local here in town, and you're gonna need two pounds, or yes, two pounds of confectioner sugar, icing sugar, powdered sugar, it's all the same thing. One stick of butter, a Crisco shortening stick, some vanilla extract and water. Okay, so what you're gonna do first is put in your butter and shortening, because those are your fats. Like I said, one stick of each of those. The shortening stick you can get at Walmart. Uh, you can get like three of them in a package for approximately 350 or maybe a little bit more. It's under four dollars. That's what I do know. And it looks kind of like cream cheese, actually. You can see that. But of course, it's not. It's shortening. So we're gonna put that in there as well. Now you can use a standing mixer, but I'm gonna use a hand mixer, so I will be pausing in between. Um, but you mix this up together first on low, and it's at room temperature. Okay, I blended that for about maybe two minutes. And as you can see, it's kind of thick, but we still need to add the confectioner sugar in there. When you add this, you're supposed to add it in small increments because if not, you'll have like this huge dust cloud and nobody wants that because it'll get everywhere. So I'm gonna do that. And then there's no exact measurement for the water or the vanilla extract. You just kind of put in as much as you want, but you know, try to use it a little bit at a time so that you don't get overwhelmed with the flavor or it doesn't become too liquid because what we're going to be looking for when this is at its perfect consistency is like stiff peaks. So I'm going to go ahead and just add a little bit of the vanilla in there. Like I said, I'm not going to measure it. I just toss a little bit in there and then I'm going to cut up the, cut open the bag and then start using the confectioner sugar a little bit at a time. Um, yeah. <laughs> so I'm gonna toss a little bit of that in there. And then when that becomes completely mixed in, I'll just keep adding in more uh, sugar and then water so that it kind of thins it out a little bit. I don't know if it's is it, if it's the exact consistency it's supposed to be. I may have added too much water. I had about a third of a cup of water in here total, but it was just very cloudy. But it's very thick, as you can see. Like my hand mixer can almost stand up in it. Let's see if I can if my spatula will stand up in it. It does. So okay, I think we're good. Um, I'm going to transfer this into smaller bowls and then I'm going to add color to it because I want to frost cupcakes. So I will show you that part in another video. <laughs> so <laughs> with that being said, let me get this all cleaned up and prepped. Um, I just didn't want the video to be too long, so there's going to be two videos back to back. So I hope that you enjoy it. I will, well, maybe three of them because this is the mixing and this is how you make the buttercream. Then I'm going to show you how I put the color in. And then after that, I will show you actually frost, show me frosting the actual cupcakes. All right. Well, I'll see you guys in a little bit.